Even under the best circumstances, a visit to the doctor's office can be awkward. Now, imagine if you need to talk to your doctor about something very personal. Crohn's disease um, and ulcerative colitis are two members of a group of diseases in which uh, we have chronic self-perpetuating inflammation. What I mean by that is that these are conditions that unlike, for example, if you get monosomes revenge and you get diarrhea and crampy abdominal pain and inflammation, that sort of stuff goes away on its own. The body sort of cleans up its own mess. Um, with, with inflammatory bowel disease, those things uh, self-perpetuate. So how do you go about talking about something that can be, well, embarrassing? The bottom line is we, we deal with this on a day-to-day -day basis. We're not embarrassed in talking to people about it. We want uh, our patients to feel comfortable talking to us. And it's not an easy topic. It's not the kind of thing that you bring up at a dinner party, although I've had that happen to me before. Crohn's and colitis don't discriminate. They can strike anyone at any time. I was diagnosed probably three months, four months before I was supposed to leave to go to college. So really an inopportune time in my life. What did Barry think when she was diagnosed? I really was not educated. I didn't know anything about Crohn's disease. I didn't know anyone who had it. No one in my family had it. So when I received the diagnosis, I didn't know what it meant, what could have caused it. You know, I was thinking I was going to get a magic pill and my life would return to normal. And as recently as last summer, I missed two months from work on disability because I was having a flare-up with Crohn's. And unless you or someone close to you suffers from Crohn's or colitis, it may be hard to understand just how serious it is. But there's an organization, the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation, doing all it can to educate people. And the local chapter helps create awareness and raises money for research. You can help them too. There are still tickets left for Take Steps for Fashion. The luncheon and fashion show hosted by me is tomorrow at the Andaz Hotel in downtown Savannah. Fashions will be provided by Talbots with a boutique featuring skin care and wellness products. Chef Lauren at the Andaz is making a special meal just for this luncheon. We posted a link on our website, thesouthernscene.com, to get your ticket. I hope you'll join me for this great event.